The paranormal is a topic that is something difficult to comprehend. We see videos all the time of supposed hauntings. I say supposed because it is difficult to know what is real and what is fake. But that is what makes it fascinating. The uncertainty of something unbelievable being actually true. The fascination that the paranormal brings is evident in many ways. We have seen it all over YouTube with all the explorers that visit haunted places all for the same purpose, to see if the paranormal does indeed exist. Well, and also to make content as well. Eric Gunner is a YouTuber who has a channel that is based off visiting haunted places and abandoned places. He has over 100 video uploads documenting his experience in some of the most haunted places in Mexico. He has documented some eerie and creepy things but nothing too bad. It was until one night where he thought it was going to be a normal filming day that turned out to be the complete opposite and ultimately would end up bringing grave consequences to his life. On June 8th, 2021, Eric took to his YouTube channel to share a video that wasn't his typical exploration video. Instead, he shared his story of something that had occurred in his home that left him frightened, so frightened that he had to share his home address with all his fans so they could send the cops to his home. This all started when fans suggested that he visited a graveyard where supposedly a lot of things could be heard and seen. Taking the recommendation of his fans, he decided to go to the graveyard for the video he was planning. And he got a request from a fan to let her take part of the video. She offered to do a casting and everything. She ultimately ended up getting a chance to join Eric and his team for the video. Everything in the video went normal. They didn't see anything too strange. They just explored and when he had enough footage, they ended the video. That is when the real mistake occurred. Before getting into what happened after the camera's cut, I want to mention something that may or may not change the perspective in which you view this video. When Eric was explaining the situation, he mentions that indeed nothing crazy happened there, but when he posted it, he got the typical comments that pointed out strange noises. To which he explained he wasn't so convinced by that because in every video, you know, someone always notices a strange noise. And from what I got from this and what I've seen from his videos, Eric is a skeptical person about the paranormal. He has never really experienced anything too extreme. I was honestly surprised because, you know, every YouTuber who's an explorer, you know, they're always so convinced that the paranormal exists and even put out videos of them supposedly capturing a ghost. Because of this, I started looking through some videos and I noticed that he isn't like those YouTubers. He doesn't fake things in order to have content. Eric visits these places and at the end he apologizes to the fans if nothing too exciting really happens. I don't know about you guys but this shows that he is true to himself and to his fans. He doesn't go out of his way to fake things and he just posts it regardless if there was a ghost spotted or not. If you read the comments in the video of him exploring, you see the amount of support he gets from his fans and you know. We all know regardless of YouTubers claiming things weren't fake, people still see past it and comment, you know, it's a lie, you know, this is fake, it's all fake. But with Eric, we could see how much his viewers actually believe him because he has always been transparent with them. Now, listen closely to what Eric shares next. Entonces, el problema es que ese día que fuimos a grabar, Después de hacer el video nos quedamos todavía en el panteón porque esta chica me platicó algo y hicimos como una especie de... es que no sé cómo se le dice, sí me dijo el nombre pero no sé cómo se le dice, el chiste es de que pues obviamente tiene que ver también hasta con incluso con lo de mi mamá y todo esto, eh, esta chica pues llevó velas y sus menjurjes ya saben, eh, ella recuerden que dijo que era... Uh, 
Ay, ¿cómo se le dice eso? ¿Wicca? Wicca, for those who don't know, is a religion influenced by pre-Christian beliefs and practices of Western Europe that affirms the existence of supernatural power, such as magic, and of both male and female deities who inherit in nature and that emphasizes ritual observance of seasonal and life cycles. After they finished up with the practice that they were doing, they all went home. Eric edited the video and went to bed around 2 a.m and around 3 a.m. he was woken up from his sleep by noises coming from downstairs. The first thing that he thought to do was to grab something to defend himself from what he thought was an intruder. He also wanted to call the cops but had no signal, therefore he shared his address on Instagram. After posting that story, he began to film on his phone just in case anything happened to him. The following video is what occurred that faithful night. Estoy escuchando que alguien se metió a mi casa Se escuchan bastantes ruidos allá abajo Eso me despertó Y ya puse mi dirección en historias Porque no sé qué hacer Aquí no tengo señal para marcar una patrulla Entonces pues Fue lo único que se me ocurrió ahorita Pues voy a tener que bajar La verdad sí me pone bastante nervioso Y obviamente estoy solo Ahorita nada más pues, Estoy ayudándome con mi lamparita que tengo Es por eso que se ve la luz Porque creo que no hay ni siquiera luz en casa Como llovió en la noche o al menos cuando me dormí eh, estaba lloviendo, pues yo creo que se fue la luz o no sé. Eric continues to explain that he had to hide his dog so it wouldn't run around. He slowly begins to make his way through the house. One thing that he did notice was that the bedroom door was open when he usually sleeps with it closed. Eric continues to show that he is hesitant since the noises come from downstairs and they are still audible. The sound of a door was lightly heard in the back, as well as the voice of a woman saying, behind. It sounded so close that all I could picture is her right behind him, as he is still contemplating going all the way down. Hasta miedo me da gritar hola. Nadie afuera, no se alcanzo. After hearing the noise, he continues to look around to see where the noise came from. He even takes a look in the restroom, but then continues looking. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Eric didn't even seem to hear the faint noise. He continued as if it didn't even happen. What is hard to miss is the voice of the woman once more as Eric decides to head upstairs. Eric has been able to somehow turn a blind eye to the noises and the faint voices speaking in his house, but what he couldn't turn a blind eye to is to what he saw next. The silhouette of a woman could be seen peeking out the bedroom door. Most likely the same woman who whispered, come up. Could it be that when they did some Wicca practices, they could have accidentally invited unwanted entities? Absolutely nobody was in the room, confirming to Eric that there is no intruder, but there is something paranormal going on. Now he notices things out of place like doors being opened that shouldn't be, as well as other things. Estas bolsas deberían de estar allá en la esquina, estaban acomodadas. It is clear that the entity is having fun messing with Eric. We keep hearing her basically guiding him to her. Luckily, somehow, Eric couldn't hear the voices, because imagine the panic of already being completely petrified by what you saw and then hearing voices coming right from behind your ear. I don't know, I feel like it would be probably too much to handle. He continues to look around, and something that is important to point out is that there are still some things of the previous owner still in that house. There are two possible explanations here. First one being that maybe something happened when they were doing the Wicca practices, or maybe the person who sold the house to him hid serious information about the previous owners in order to not scare him away. All I know is that the first thing he should do is get rid of the previous owner's things and get the house clean to see if things just get better. He did just move in there not so long ago, so it is possible that the paranormal is coming from the house and not what happened the day he went to the graveyard. Or it could be a combination of the two. I don't think it is just one entity. At some points, there were deep groans that could be heard in the background. There is definitely more than one in his home. He also claims that he has been having really dark dreams. So obviously there's a dark presence in his home. There's no doubt about that. After this, he claimed that things have been becoming more intense. Not too intense, but just a little more than before. And he doesn't think it's the house because he claims that this all started after the graveyard video. Only time will tell where this all stemmed from. Let me know what you guys think, honestly. Do you think he's doing it for the views or do you think he's being genuine? Some of you guys might think I'm stupid for this, but he seems genuine to me. 
Like I mentioned, I was going through his channel and he doesn't seem to fake stuff just to make his videos interesting. If he doesn't capture anything paranormal, he still posts it regardless because that is what truly happened. But just because I think that he is being honest doesn't mean I'm oblivious. Just because, you know, he seems to be truthful so far doesn't mean that he couldn't have changed his mind and decided to do something just to gain more attention to his channel. So honestly, what are your thoughts? Do you think this all stemmed off from the graveyard video or do you think it stems off from the house? Or do you think it could be a combination of the both? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and would like me to continue this story if, you know, I guess things continue to get worse. Don't forget to subscribe with post notifications so you are notified when I update your favorite stories. I will see you guys in the next video.